Hello guys, welcome back to yet another video. So today, as you guys can see, I've got my tablet out. And this is the Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Bit of a handful, but that's the name of the tablet. Um, in my opinion, the best Android tablet out there. But that's not the topic for the video today. Today I wanted to show you how to play Xbox games, in specific Forza Horizon 4 on your tablet. And before all of you start commenting fake, 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 just watch the video <laughs> and then give it a try yourself if you want. Um, so full disclaimer, obviously for me, I'm going to be using a PlayStation 4 controller because this is the one I have lying around the house. So if you guys have an Xbox controller, this should work perfectly fine with that as well. But once you have your controller, you're going to need one more thing. It's called Xbox Game Pass. You see, I've already got it downloaded here. So how you get that app is just by going to the Play Store, just like normal, search for Xbox Game Pass, and it should be the first one com coming up. And the f this is the app, this is how the icon looks, just go ahead and download it. And full disclaimer, this will cost you one pound or one euro or one dollar, wherever you're from, for the first month, and then you can just cancel it afterwards. But anyways, carrying on. So before we do any of that, I want to show you how to pay your controller first. And for me, I've got an Xbox controller, but it should work ne nearly identical identical if you have a xbox controller too so go ahead and go to the settings of your tablet go to connections go to bluetooth and for playstation it's home button and share button you have to hold it simultaneously until you see a flashing blue light there you go when you get a flashing blue light on the playstation controller you should see here wireless controller already here so wireless controller has already popped up you just go ahead and tap on it and there you go it comes up as bluetooth pairing request so just go ahead and hit ok and you're done so now you can even go back you see you can go back with your controller so you're done here with xbox it's the same i don't really have an xbox controller to show you guys but you go into the pairing mode on it on the xbox controller and it'll come up there as well so that should work perfectly fine once that's done head on over to the game pass and sign up Full disclaimer, you will need one pound or one dollar or one euro to sign up for the first month. And then after that, it's 11 pound a month for this service. However, you can cancel it after one month. No, I've done this multiple times. I've made different, I've made multiple accounts and used a trial on each account for one pound. So it's pretty much, well, I can't say it's free because it's not free, but it's one pound for a whole month. And look how many games you get. This is not just for Forza Horizon 4. You get access to nearly a few i think around 100 or 150 xbox games don't quote me on that but it's a lot of games you guys can see here you can you can sh show all and carry on looking uh looking through which other games are available so for us today we're going to look at forza horizon 4 so i'm going to go ahead and click on forza horizon 4 and just hit play and then we give it a second as you guys can see this is the loading screen it is still in beta that's why it says beta down there um but it should be working perfectly fine, even though it is in the beta. So let's go ahead and drive my Bugatti Veyron. There you go. You guys can hear the game sound as well. I'm just going to go ahead and give this a little wipe because it is a bit dirty. There's a few dust particles, which can be annoying. But anyways, we're just waiting for it to load up. And this is the exact same thing you'd be getting on the PC version. Because as you guys can see my, in the background, I have my PC. I've got Forza Horizon 4. I had bought it actually. So, uh, yeah. But you guys can get it for free. I mean, not for free. For one pound. If you guys just go ahead and make an account. So it's just going to sync your data. The first time it syncs your data, you guys saw there. It will. I'm just going to go ahead and turn the volume a bit lower. Because I'm talking. And The first time you go ahead and sign up and sync your account, it will take a couple seconds. It took me around 40 to 45 seconds the first time I turned it on. It had to go from 0 to 100% and it syncs all your data. So that's that. Just keep that in mind. So if it does take long, don't worry too much. You guys can see a mouse cursor comes up, but it's okay. If you just click on the screen, it just goes away. So that's pretty cool. So again, you guys can see this is not something fake. So let's see what cars I have in my garage for you guys. Then I'm going to go and say garage as well. So my American viewers don't get angry. In my garage, in my garage, in my garage. Let's see. What do you want to drive? Let's see. Okay, so basically I don't have a bagay. I was lying. Um, I mean, I have money. I have money. I have 2.8 million, I think. 
but let's see what uh, what, what we want to drive today let's just get the 488 out so i'm going to go ahead and get in the car so i'm just going to hold my controller here it will have it will be blurry in the back but i just want to show you that this is real and again if the mouse scroll thingy comes up just click on the screen and it goes away basically so that's that i'm just going to hold my controller here as i said for now just to show you guys it's real so again if i go and press this yeah yeah you see go back but yeah it works perfectly fine I can turn around, drive, it's, guys, this is insane. Guys, if you actually think about it, this is nuts. You're basically, you have a full-fledged Xbox in your tablet. All you need is a controller to play, you see? Look, I'm just going to hold it here, so, oops. But basically, if you do lag, sometimes you will lag, um, if your Wi-Fi isn't very strong. Because because I'm upstairs in the second floor and my Wi-Fi is all the way downstairs in the living room, I might get a few lags. But even then, right now, it, it it's working perfectly. I'm going to go ahead and stop here and increase the volume so you guys can hear some actual gameplay. I'm going to go ahead and shut for a second. Tokyo Drift. Oh my god! I did not see the bend. I may be blind, but I did not see the bend. Um, basically, you can also... It's the same exact controls as well, so you guys can press R1 or I don't know what it what the controls are on Xbox, but if you press this button here, it changes your view. Um, yeah, there you go. Oh yeah, I just wanted to also show you. There's a little bit of a delay. Like there's, it's not that bad. It's not that bad where you can't play. But you see, I can drive perfectly fine. But there is a little bit of a delay. So if I show you guys here, you see this. Yeah, there's a little bit of a delay. But that might be because I am upstairs. I haven't tried playing it downstairs yet. Um, but if I do, I will give you guys an update. But it doesn't... There's a little bit of a lag. You see that? But the point is that this is insane. I'm not... Even at... I think it's £11 a month in the UK. Even at £11 a month, it's 100% worth it if someone actually plays. Because you're basically playing on your PC. Everything you do here also get synced up with your PC. So let's say you do a challenge. I'm going to go ahead and turn down the volume again. Let's say you do a challenge on your tablet or your phone. You can even do this on your phone. Let's say you do a, cha a challenge on your phone or your tablet and you go ahead and jump back onto your PC later on at night when you get home. That challenge will be completed on your PC because it's synced up. So it's basically like actually continuing your progress but literally on a tablet. And it's insane. It's actually insane, guys. Like... Forza Horizon 4 is one of my favorite games, even though I haven't played it for around 2-3 months, it's still one of my most favorite games, it's just such a nice and chill game to play whenever you're, whenever you're bored, uh, you can get your friends to, you can get your friends to get it and stuff, but the point being is don't look at my driving right now because I'm trying to concentrate on talking, but yeah, this is it guys, just go ahead and follow these steps and enjoy playing, I've seen a lot of fake videos online on people's telling you to download Forza Horizon 4 with the links in the description. Now, none of that's going to ever work, guys. This is the only genuine way you can get Forza on your tablet. And it's not just Forza. As I said, you can pause, you can you can go online, um, you can um, play with your friends. Like, imagine your friends are on PC and you're on tablet joining them. That's insane. That's actually insane. Imagine you're abroad in, let's say, you went to Jerusalem and your friends are still in London and they're playing and you want to join in but you didn't bring your Xbox, you didn't bring your PlayStation what do you do? you jump in, jump on whip out the tablet, whip out the controller connect to an internet and join them easy as that! that's nuts and no, this is not <laughs> I'm rooting for this so much but this is not sponsored by Microsoft or whatever it's, this is just my honest opinion um, but yeah, that's pretty much it I can, if you want to exit the game you can just literally go back like this and then it says quit game hit quit game 
and it asks for your, asks for your rating, just cross it. But yeah, guys, point being is that you can go ahead and play any game you want, no matter where you are. All you need is an internet connection and a controller. And to be honest, if you look at my battery life, my battery life hasn't even been depleted because you're not actually playing the game on your tablet. The game is being streamed on your tablet and you're playing it remotely. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but your tablet battery life is also going to be fantastic on this. And even like Dead by Daylight Special Edition, you go ahead and hit play and it starts to launch. You've never played the game before, but you have access to it. What is going on here? What is going on here? Fantastic. But point being is that you can do this with multiple, multiple different games, not just Forza Horizon 4. Go ahead and download the Xbox Game Pass if you want. It's a pound for the first month. And if you wish to continue on, you can pay £11 a month or $11 a month. It's different everywhere in the UK. I mean, everywhere in the world. But if you guys do wish to carry on, but you don't wish to pay full price, you can cancel your membership and start another trial for some through someone else's account. But that's that. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, please do leave a like. Um, a like is very appreciated. Please do subscribe. And I hope to catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.